impressed with the way he's turned things around here the rest of the year. Second and three, Jeff Carpenter is the back, and he breaks into the clear. Carpenter, one safety as the angle. Will he get there? No! Carpenter scores on the second play. A 67-yard Boise touchdown, their longest run of the year. And what did we tell you about the quick starts that Boise has gotten on Fresno over the last three years? Talented group of Fresno State receivers. That's the Under Armour advantage when Fresno has the ball. Stanford's on the bench with an equipment issue. And on third and six, good coverage in his zone downfield. Now Pinnegar late. Great patience. Good arm. Adam Jennings. First down and a pickup of 26. Quarterback, it is. He bought time, but Boise State only rushed three. When you rush three, you're hoping that the defense and the secondary and the perimeter can make the play. They did. Great job by Pinnaker buying time to find Jennings. And the thing that I like is that Adam Jennings, you work on this in practice. He gives up on his route, but he doesn't give up on the quarterback. Now he just turns. He's trying to find a hole. The running game to go along with it. My mistake on the last tackle, Cam Hall, not Corey Hall. Here's a reverse set up for Williams. Eludes two defenders, sprints through the middle of the defense, and picks up the first down at the 15. Wow, what explosive speed shown by the junior Paul Williams, gain of 13. No state trying to respond to Boise State with a touchdown of its own. Mathis into the end zone. Settle in, think we're going to have a really good one here tonight. By you, double telestration, nice. <laughs> Big night, Lee Marks is now the running back. Loss of three. Snowed under by that aggressive defense from Fresno State. Wayne Andrews leads the charge, middle linebacker along with Shirley in the middle. Boy, when he comes out and makes a big play here, Zabransky lost his snap, is gonna lose yards, Aaron. Wayne Andrews with the tackle, a loss. On the play, of about three yards to take him back toward midfield. On second and seven, Charles to Wendell Mathis. Breaks through an ankle tackle. Breaks into the secondary. Gets to the 48-yard line. Uh, pick up of 33 for the senior from Merced. Mike, the first thing I want to talk about about this offense is it's... It's a two-back offense. I mean, any more, all the talk about the spread, Pat Hill is a coach who believes in fundamentals and having a physical presence on offense. you got to be ready to hit somebody in this offense. This is no uh, dick and dunk to get our yards. The 47, Mathis again breaks the crease. Pick up a 13 and a first down. So Fresno State running with Brady's thus far. Seven rushes, they're averaging 10 per. Well, that time Fresno State caught Boise in a blitz from the outside. Look at them, there's no linebackers there. It's pretty simple. If you make your block, and that's just a, a zone play, if you make your block up front, they're bringing all the pressure from the outside. They At five and one in the lead. Jared Zabransky, first and ten. Throw is! See if he's inbounds. Yes! Intercepted! Marcus McCauley's first on the season. Zabransky's 11. Mike, this is a great job by McCauley of just jumping the route. The interesting thing with the coverage is they reversed it. They turned back and turned the coverage the other way. So you have a defensive end and Klotz dropping into the flat. McCauley actually is supposed to be getting back deep, but I think he saw James. He read the route. And they do have that ability this year, which they didn't have last year, to stretch the field. Second and ten, four options to throw. A deep ball, they try it again, they hit it! Touchdown, Paul Williams! They got the coverage matchup they wanted. 29-yard score, puts the Fresno State on top. You knew it was
is coming, Mike. They've been just kind of setting things up. As I said, with that physical running, they make you the list that he moves ahead of. Of course, three current NFL quarterbacks, former Fresno State quarterbacks, Billy Bullock, Trent Gilfer, David Carr. One more time, a well-covered kickoff and no return to speak of for this very good Boise return team. Quinton Jones brought down by Kyle Goodman. And power back, you figure he would be the one to handle it. In these tough conditions, they go back to Lee. Marks is stopped shy of the first down. That is the second tackle for loss on the night by that big nose tackle, Jason Shirley. Six, they'll put a lot of different receivers. Spamron was just lined up as a fullback. They're trying to get a matchup where they can throw it downfield to that fullback. Oh, they'll throw out of the end zone. Kager will throw deep again for Paul Williams, who just makes the catch. That flag is on Boise as Williams stays in bounds, stays alive, and has one of the longest touchdowns in Fresno State history. 98 yards. the flag the official who threw it had to run down and follow the remainder of the play it looked like pass interference pass defense number 40 and it's the longest touchdown in Fresno State history Kevin Sweeney to Stephen Baker a 95 yarder 20 years ago Team Kurt on Thursday night it's a fire work out Kurt North Carolina State quarterback coach they throw it to Nane, thrown away. Richard Marshall and this Fresno State defense halfway through the second is doing some kind of job. Boise, a couple of three and outs in a row. CC West all over the place. First down, Pinnaker swings it out. Wendell Mathis got a block, got another one. Wendell Mathis tripped up before he would have scored at the 20 yard line. It's not for Colt Brooks ankle tackle. He's gone to make some great decisions as a quarterback. Zimmerman gets it through from the angle from 29 yards. So two made field goals in his Fresno State career. The backup kicker doing enough to get the job done. Well, you're right about rhythm because they have not sustained any drive tonight. After the fourth first down of the evening, Lee Marks lost the football. Fresno State has recovered. So again, they hurt themselves. Marcus Riley comes up with the recovery. Richard Marshall forcing the fumble. The game's second turnover, both by Boise State. But Mike, right now, this is a play. You can see some penetration up front there. McIntyre just doesn't quite make to it. But then Marshall just sitting there. And when Marks comes down there, he's got to be able to protect this football. Marshall puts the helmet right on the ball to pop it loose. There are a handful of red jerseys all over it. High definition on ESPN HD. Jared Zabransky and Boise State need something. They don't need that. Garrett McIntyre with the sack. Max at the 12. Let's head to the studio for a second. Second and 10 from the 48. Pressure now. Zabransky sacked again. The combination with McIntyre and they cannot hike. A walk-on who has had a knack about getting to the quarterback. Four sacks already on the year. Early in that game. And driving. That, yeah. yeah. For 24. And from that point on, they have dominated people. And, of course, next week, have to go to the Coliseum to see USC. Sacked by Tyler Flux who was the spy. Uh, overachievers, coaches describe him as, but he leads the team and tackles for loss, and he gets a sack there. And oh, by the way, as you learn, the season goes on, how good your wins or losses are changes. Good carry, still on his feet. Sumlin finally brought down to the 16-yard line as this Fresno State team takes it over 500 yards of total offense was able to find a way to get Boise State to the Liberty Bowl, and there are seven Bowl Scouts here tonight. Zabransky, the deep ball down the middle, is intercepted to wrap it up. Richard Marshall, his third interception of the year, and it's finally for Fresno State. They finally will get over the hump.
We, uh, when Pat Hill came here, we were here his first year, they talked about getting the whole valley behind this team. On a tough weather night, they sold the place out. They were loud and raucous, and they have come to see their Fresno State Bulldogs come up with the win they have thirsted for for the last four years, knocking off Boise State. And these two guys really have great admiration for each other, Dan Hawkins and Pat Hill. a great amount of respect. You don't see that from coaches in the same league. The two best teams in the league for the last four years. And it's only a snapshot for you. You don't get to see them all. That says what those guys are all about right there. A lot of respect by both these head coaches, the coaching staff, and the players. Good game for Fresno. It was a big win. Travel safe game day. Get you ready for Alabama LSU. No scoring in the second half. Our final score, 27-7. to